what is up you two welcome back to my channel happy new year we survived 2020 if you are healthy you have not been touched by covid uh, you still have a job have your mind you're saying you made it okay like you made it god has been so faithful to us and this pandemic and for those of us who really use this opportunity to really get close to god um bravo because this is the time to get close to God. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys and the reason why I'm so excited about this video is because to grow closer to Christ is everything. Like it's everything. Like if the pandemic taught us anything is that we're in control of absolutely nothing but we can grow closer to Christ. So today I have five practical ways that you can grow closer to God this year things that you can do right now to grow your relationship with God to spend time with God to grow spiritually in God this year so let's jump right into it <laughs> the first thing is wake up 20 to 30 minutes before so it's a good thing to start your day with God like when you wake up in the morning and you just like wake up out of your bed and you just go brush your teeth and you feel groggy and then you have to go to work like you know you're dragging your feet like it's not the best way to start the your day but if you wake up 20 30 minutes before you know you go brush your teeth you wash your face um you go into your prayer closet prayer room or just find a space where you can read your bible pray you know it will make such a difference second thing is read books you guys books are so important there's so many good christian authors out there that really um tackle um the word of god and um the importance of being close to god and what you can learn from god and i have a couple of ones here for you so this one i think is my favorite you can tell by the way that it's a little bit messed up um the battlefield of the mind by joyce myers really really good book i'll try and put every book that i have or that i can um suggest in the description below but um this one is really good because we know that satan attacks our mind like he just bombards us with so many lies and so many things and i uh, we, we just need to find a way to fight back and i think that this book is a really good book to fight back now, i'm not going to go through all of them but a couple uh, my friend just gave me this one do it afraid and if you see my uh two last videos i talked about how to overcome fear and that i suggested in that video that we do it while we're afraid sometimes because we need to overcome the fear so we can move forward and really be all about god and to really accomplish god's purpose in our life we need to move forward so we need to do it even when we're afraid we just need to have faith and just go for it so this is a really good book so far i read it like just the first chapter in the forward and the introduction very very good like it's a really good start i really love it and i have a couple authors i really like um uh priscilla sheer i love her this one is called discerning god's voice really good and i think there's a there's a video like bible study that where she talks about it and then you can read about it or study with her so it's really good there's another one called favorite prayer or something like that i don't remember such a good book it's all about prayer and um what happens when you pray it's really really good um i have a let's see same girl armor of god really really good and then um C.W. Lewis is an amazing author. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a really, really good giveaway soon-ish. We'll see. I'm trying to do it this month. If not, it's going to be next month. But honestly, this guy, he's profound. He's really good. And yeah, like there's different authors out there. I'm sure you guys will be able to find someone, something. I'm sure people have suggested so many books to you guys, but it's important to read. I personally like to read before going to bed because I think having that be the last thing that I do is very helpful for me because like I struggle a little bit at night when I have to sleep. Sometimes I like to like just finish my day with that. The third thing to do is to follow a bible plan it's really hard to be motivated to read the bible if every time you pick up the bible to read it 
you start at Genesis, and then you start at Genesis, and then you start at Genesis because you're trying to read the whole Bible, but then you keep going from the start. If you have a Bible that has a plan, a one-year plan, I think, personally, I think it's easier. So I actually bought one. So I bought this, I think, last year when I was deployed so I could, like, keep up with my reading. Um, and it's called the One Year Bible for Women. It's in the NLT version, and I really like it. Like, it's really... I don't know if you guys can see, but you know, it says the date and then, you know, scriptures and like what's important. Um, so I really like this. Every morning I pray, I read the day that I'm supposed to, to read and I know for sure it's like at least like a couple chapters. So it's really good. Like you can do it in like 10, 15, 20 minutes max if you like studying. I like to study while I do this. So I always have a pen and um, a paper with me and I just take notes and I highlight because you know it helps you to like memorize it to really like meditate on it and it's so important to meditate on the word to be able to grow so like I really really like um, this one but I also suggest that um, <laughs> get a uh, uh, application Bible study I love this because when you get into this they talk about like the characters. So here it's like talking about Joshua. I don't know if you guys can see that. But talking about Joshua, like who Joshua was, when um, he started writing, like, you know, a bunch of information about him. And it, even in the bottom, like when you read scripture, in the bottom here, it's like a study note. It just tells you like, you know, what they were thinking, like what it means, that passage. Because sometimes you can read something not really understand what it's talking about. But with that, they really break it down for you and like you really get to understand it so I personally think that it's really good to have you can have always like a normal Bible as long as you're reading something you know from the scriptures and you're really um, taking your time to know God to really um, study the word and that's something I think I've always struggled with because I, I want to know so much and like sometimes I get distracted but having that really helps me to like stay consistent and I'm really trying this year to do a one-year Bible study and really read it through the entire year not missing one day and that is so hard because when it comes to the weekend you know you just want to sleep and just waste time but this year i am proactive about it i made a group on facebook if you're on facebook uh follow 365 days of god i'll put the link if i can i'm not even sure i can but i'll put the link down in the description below if you want to read your bible with me for the entire year and have us be accountable for, to each other Please join the group. I think it will be amazing. I'm excited to see the growth that we will do. Moving on. Number four, set an alarm. If you set an alarm, it will actually help you. Like, you know, you set an alarm to go to work. So when the alarm rings, you snooze it, but you know eventually you're gonna have to wake up. It's like in you, you're like, oh, I have to gear up to like, you know, go to work. But if you do the same thing for your Bible reading time or your prayer time, I'm telling you, it's going to help you so much because you're gonna hear it and you're gonna be like, oh. And then once you hear it, like your mind's gonna make you feel guilty that you're missing it and you're gonna try to do other things and you're just gonna be like, you know what, I might as well just do it. So put an alarm to remind you to do all of these things. Now, number five is get a prayer journal. Guys, when I tell you, stay tuned because I have things coming up, okay? So, prayer journals are so important. Like, I have mine here, and I really like this prayer journal. Very simple, which is what I like, is you put your date, your request, your answer, and your prayer, your answer, and some Bible scriptures that you want to put. It's just important to have a prayer journal where you can keep track. Because what happens when we don't have a prayer journal is we forget. We love to forget when things are going bad. So when you have a prayer journal, I tend to do this a lot. When I have a prayer journal, I tend to go back to it and see what God has accomplished. There's things that I prayed about, and then I went back and wrote the answer the minute it happened, or like a couple weeks or months after it happened, I go and write the answer. Then when I go back and I just look, I see how many times God answered my prayer. And it, it just reminds me that God listens to us. He hears us. He wants to be here for us. And it's just the most comforting thing Ever. That is really it. That's my five um, tips for you guys like practical ways for you to get closer to God and to spend more time with God. All of these, honest, take up like 20, 30 minutes. I'm telling you, it will change your life. 
obviously as you do it you're gonna want to be more and more in the presence of God and you know your 20 minutes will be 30 minutes and your 30 minutes will be 50 minutes your 50 minutes will be an hour and a half and before you know it you know it's just a natural habit for you to spend time with God which is the ultimate goal we want to be naturally desiring to spend time with God but like Paul says you know our flesh is always wrestling with our spirit you know like we always want to do good but we end up doing bad and you know what I mean that constant wrestling back and forth that tug of war but you know we are in Christ we can do anything through Christ who strengthens us so why not you know if you want to get closer to God I highly suggest you to use these practical tips and really grow in Christ this year if you guys have anything anything that you want me to put out as a video any subject any topic anything that you guys would like to see please comment down and I will do my best to bring you guys the best video I do this for you guys I buy the camera by the way I don't even know how to use it I've never used a camera like this but I bought a nice camera because I want to have nice videos I don't know how this is gonna look like we'll see when I do the, the editing but you know, I'm learning. I, there's so many things that I've done this past year. I've never done in my life. I never even thought I would do in my life. But I'm doing it because I genuinely have the love of God in my heart. And I genuinely want to help every single one of you guys just draw closer to God. Because being in God is the best thing. He changed my life, guys. He changed my entire life. And I want Him to change yours too. So, love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys next video. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you like this video. Share my content if you like it. Comment down below and like this video. See you next time.